Hi there, quick video for you here today on the topic of conflict resolution. A neat 5 Pro model here, let me talk you through it. Whether you're in conflict with your partner, your team member, your boss, doesn't matter who it is, even your child, your teenage kid, let me talk you through it. The first point of the model here is ER, and this is engage. Rapport. We must be in rapport with the other party if they're going to listen to us, if they're going to deploy empathy with us, go back to rapport, connect, be social, common ground, humour. We must get to the orange dot on the model here or we've got no chance at all. Step two is state the facts of the incident or incidents or behaviours. Now behaviours can be a little subjective, can't they? I didn't mean to have that tone with you. My attitude, what are you talking about? So that can be a little bit subjective, but we must go to the facts of the incident and acknowledge those facts. Engage rapport, state the facts of the incidents. Now, next step three, absolutely critical. If we don't have this, nothing's gonna happen downstream. We must drive for the acknowledgement What does that mean? Is you've got two parties sitting opposite each other, we must deploy a sense of empathy to concur and acknowledge the damage or the harm done by the incidents or the behaviour. Once we get to purple mouth here, we've got a real chance of climbing out into a positive future. Engage rapport, state the facts of the incident, drive for the acknowledgement. And you see we're breaking through the x-axis here into the air, the target area here of managing conflict and resolution. So step four is state future intentions. So this is where we're saying to each other, yeah, I get it. What I will do in the future is I will not shout at you in the future. I will not point my finger at you in the future. Now don't forget, these are, just, these are intentions of behaviour change. Coupled with this point here, what we must do in, a, in tandem with the intention is garner commitment for change, because what we're seeking here through this whole model is change. We're seeking a sense of connectivity and rapport and acknowledgement of incident or facts, and then stating what am I gonna do in the future that's different so we have less conflict, more harmony. And finally, what we must do is implement. We must enact and commit to the intentions that we state in step four. With that implementation, nothing will really change. So there we have it there. Five step model for uh, managing conflict. I was taught this a few years ago and I deploy this in my coaching practice. So take it away today. If you're having <laughs> complexities and um, uh, if you're in, in conflict yourself, use the model. As you can see, this is the past, what we wanna do is work and be informed on from the past, but not be limited by the past, and head into the colourful future where we have more harmony in our relationships. That's it from me for today. I hope you took something away from that short video. I'll see you soon.